Often, features are not simple planes, holes, or bosses. The next few tips will deal with various means of controlling irregular and complex features. These features should be dimensioned using basic dimensions and tolerance for size and form using profile of a surface. Virtually any shape may be defined and controlled in this manner. This type of feature may use either profile of a surface or position to control location and orientation relative to datum references. When it comes to irregular features of size, profile tolerance can be used to locate them. This drawing shows a hexagonal feature being controlled by composite profile tolerance. The upper segment of the feature control frame controls where the feature is located and oriented on the part. The lower segment of the feature control frame refines the size and form of the feature. In this tip, we will explain the meaning of the upper segment. In our next tip, we will explain the meaning of the lower segment. On this drawing, the upper segment of the profile of a surface callout controls the location and orientation of the hex with respect to the datum reference frame established by A, B, and C. The feature must be located within the 0.4 wide tolerance zone shown. This tolerance zone establishes an inner boundary of 9.8 and an outer boundary of 10.6. Without the lower segment, the size and form can vary within the 0.4 millimeter tolerance zone. As you can see, with that much variation it would be difficult for the feature to fit over the head of a bolt. Because we have an inner and outer boundary that corrals the feature on the part, we can inspect it with a functional type gauge. Here we see an illustration of a functional gauge. The gauge will verify the requirements of the upper segment, the location of the hex. The datum reference frame is indicated in the feature control frame and the gauge contains datum feature simulators for datums A, B, and C. Datum A is simulated by the surface indicated. Datum B is a variable simulator that will be centered in the datum feature regardless of its size. The datum C simulator is also variable and will close on datum feature C. The hexagon element on the gauge is produced at 9.8 millimeter across the flats. This represents the inner boundary. As you can see on the slide, the actual hex feature on the part is outlined in black. If the part can be mounted on the gauge, we know that no portion of the feature has violated its inner boundary. By utilizing a 0.4 millimeter gauge pin, we can verify the feature has not violated the outer boundary. If the pin does not fit between the hex and the gauge element, we know the hex has not violated the outer boundary and the part is good. However, if the pin fits, the hex is too big and the part fails inspection. When it comes to irregular features of size, profile tolerance can be used to locate them. Until next time, remember at Techies, GDT rules. See you next tip.